Hey everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. We are back with how I pack my bag video. These are getting difficult now because I guess once I rotate through all my bags, it will basically be just on repeat of what you've already seen. What's getting difficult is that when I need to trade out, I have, I feel like I have to film it so I'm like, no, I can't switch the bag out yet. I want to show them when I switch it out. And I'm not ready to film today because I'm going to do this or do this. But that is going to have to kind of come to an end. Honestly, this video, I don't know what I'm trading it out to at this moment. By the time I work that out, I will obviously have a thumbnail and a title with what we're trading it out to. But what we're trading out from is the Alma PM in Damier bin. You saw me pack this and I have used it for the week. <clears throat> It has been fantastic. I have got some questions, some emails, so I'm just going to cover them while we have the camera up. It has been really good as a top handle bag for me, which I'm usually, I don't love. I sold my Speedy 30 because uh, it was a top handle bag and I already have my Speedy 25. But as a top handle bag, the Alma wears that so well. It can have the cross, oh, sorry, the shoulder option. I can buy a strap, separate uh, coated leather as a shoulder, but it just wears the top handle so much better. If this was on the shoulder, it would be a bit cumbersome, but that's okay. I do know that option's there. So that's the first thing is I don't really mind it handheld. Yes, it gets heavy, especially when it's packed. It's packed right now. I've walked straight in from the day and I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Some people were concerned that I would scratch the bottom myself. It came quite unscratched, but that hasn't really been a problem. I'm just really cautious on where I set it down. Access though, because it is this uh, moon shape or tapered, uh, zipper I have been keeping it open it just can get a bit tricky at times that's all like if you're rushing in a lineup you know to sort of be getting it undone I just leave it open that doesn't bother me it may concern you uh, but again each to their own it has been uh, probably the number one kind of thing that bugged me was the top of this. Now this is a 2008 model. They did in fact in the later models make these pieces of canvas uh, like wider I guess you could say or they filled the pattern out more. So if you watch my hand like that they filled more canvas out uh, so that when you zip it up there is sort of more room. In these earlier models it was really that original kind of steamer uh, shape the sort of trunk steamer shape so it doesn't really flare out as much therefore the zipper buckles if you overpack it and I tend to overpack my bags they are my main points about this bag what would I say about an Alma I want another one I can't believe it I was doing some research late one night the website the Louis Vuitton website is so cool it tells you the history and all this stuff on the Alma at the moment uh, on LV News and I was reading up on it and everything like that I oh I can see how people get addicted to armors they are just really great like the speedy grab-and-go size and uh, yeah they're just they're so ladylike I feel super posh when I carry this bag and just complete as well uh, let's go ahead and trade it out I don't know what I'm trading it out to but let's put the camera down I will choose something I'll show you so I have in fact chose my Neverfull GM in monogram print uh, mainly because I do really want to give this Smorga bag organizer in the Neverfull GM size a run for its money give it a good week's use and uh, see how it holds up I do use this bag as my briefcase at the moment I probably haven't used it as my briefcase for going on maybe six months now I use one of my Longchamp Le Pliages and I gave this a rest for that reason it does carry all of my electrical needs my camera my laptop and things like that so I wanted to give it a good six months rest I just had it packed and stuffed and used it on the odd occasion as my actual handbag 
This week we will be obviously using it as my handbag and we'll be testing the Smogger Bag Organizer. So let's trade these two bags out and see how we go. First up, as I said, my shawl in my monogram Amarant. I had it with me today. It was actually quite cold. As you can see, we are now into full blown winter here in Sydney, Australia. Uh, keeping my phone in this pocket, I did, and that worked fine. Absolutely handy dandy, not a problem. I did, in fact, take my black Jerusha pouch with me today as I needed cords and electricals because that's what I keep in there. Uh, and then still in the same line that I had packed it as, I think I threw a few more things inside there. So in the back here we have my mini pochette in Damir Ibin. We have my Agenda PM in Damir Azure. We have my Emily wallet with the rouge lining. We have my monogram sunglass case in the MM. We have my clay in the monogram. I did end up throwing in, oh it has fallen out, but my Chanel mirror in its own little dust pouch. So my little two-sided mirror there, I did throw that in. It could have even gone in my mini pochette. I did end up throwing my uh, Christian Dior Creme de Rose a lip balm. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did mention that I changed out after four months straight of using it, my multi-clay uh, that holds my keys and my car keys because it just was starting to show a bit of wear on one of the LVs and I started getting really upset. So <laughs> I traded it out. This is my Vernie clay in Amarant, which was a gift. And it's got my Dragon strap actually attached to the zipper pull, the little ring there on the zipper pull so I just pull the drag on open someone on Instagram asked me oh my gosh you can fit all your keys I can including my key fob which is great so I just put the keys in first and then I place my key fob down and it zips up perfectly this is a lot bigger of a clay than regular clays so that's what my keys are on now and then that Back pocket is empty, the little Nokia phone case pocket is empty, and that is the Alma done. I did really enjoy carrying this bag for the week. Moving on to this bad boy. I mean, truthfully, this bag is humongous. So, a bit of brown paper stuffs, but that sits on top of the bag organizer, which is I keep permanently inside there. So it works so well as a, a bag sort of stuffer, I guess, or to keep the shape of a bag. It does that so well as I showed you in that video. So I mean, this is just a no brainer, really. Look at that, we can just put all those items back in there. All right, so starting up, we will be keeping my monogram sunglasses case and that can go <laughs> this is this is fun I did it which you saw in the last video but it's you know it's just choose your areas really so that will go there I am going to trade out my Emily wallet simply because this has been really quite a long time of use so we will be changing it to zippy compact wallet shout out to my friend Tanya Handbag LVR just got this in monogram. Love it. She will adore this wallet. Of course, my Agenda PM in Damir Azure will fit as yours. So it will fit in here. So we'll place that in the middle as well. So there we go. The three middle compartments are full. And keys will be staying in the Verney clay for the time being. So we will pop the, them in the back here in the middle. I will in fact change my monogram clay out which has my gym pass and my parents swipe key in it. I will trade it out to my monogram multicolor clay. The uh, older edition with the Vaquetta leather trim. And I will... Well, let's put that, I'll put that in the back there, so that's those two back pockets. 
I guess we will just keep these needs for the moment and I'll paste them we'll put them over in this shall we oh over in this corner so that's switching it around I've pop them up here we don't need my jerusha pouch at this time but yes of course i mean it would fit here in the big section we will be keeping my mini pochette let's see will it fit in one of these back compartments yeah it does probably would the sunglasses would fit better there and the mini pochette would fit better in the middle. Yeah, look at that, that's much better. But if I needed, you know, my Jerusha pouch, it could just sit there on the bottom. That's fine, I don't need it, however. I do want to show you other items that will fit in this organizer, just to mention as well that this whole middle section, these three pockets, is completely removable. So it does move uh, around as such, it can, you can fit underneath it, so. If I put my hand, it'll come through. But these Velcro in. And they option between three middle pockets and two, I think. Check on the site. I want to show you that this is an iPad. This is the original iPad. It's on an iPad mini. You can have that <clears throat> in one of the bigger compartments. Fine. So when I want to use this as my briefcase, that works fine. And... Also, here is my MacBook Pro. This is the 13, 13 inch MacBook Pro, 15, I'm not even sure. Uh, but there you go, that is perfect. If I had it in my laptop case, it would be fine. Fits nicely. I do want to show you <laughs> that the pochette, oh sorry, the cosmetic case PM does fit as well very nicely. And then even if, maybe we'd have to take the cosmetic case out, but even if I did want to take my toiletry 25 in monogram with me, it would fit as well. It would just push that middle compartment over, but that's okay. It still fits snug and it's protected by the felt. Let's take that out. If I want to take my cosmetic case, PM, let's put that in there. And I want to take my shawl, let's put that in here. Lovely, that fits perfectly. Let's show you that. Very nice. And then obviously we need the phone, so popping that up here in one of the slip compartments so you can see it. So there's the phone, and that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm looking around if there's anything else I would need. If I wanted to take my water bottle, this is my Voss water everywhere I go. Drink your H2O in a glass bottle. It's so much better for you. It's not carcinogenic in a, in a plastic bottle if the sun hits it. This is my Voss still water. I could, where could I pop it? I could pop it up in this corner. It probably, yeah, will move around. Uh, but maybe if we jam it there there we go so I've jammed it down in the shawl one of the options in the design of this uh, bag organizer is is the bottle options so they're, they're at the end uh, circular bottle holders if you do take a bottle of water everywhere with you or maybe makeup and you need it to stand up uh, that's nice too to have those options obviously I didn't really need that option it wasn't a specific need for me but there we go that is everything in my bag organizer inside my never full GM and then obviously you don't see the organizer from the top see which is really nice and then you could just fit a ton on top of this bag as well that is this absolutely gorgeous never full my one bag tag <laughs> bag full and packed and I'm happy to start using it yes it will be quite heavy but I tell you what, if you're a mummy, if you're going to college or uni and you need a big bag, this has been my be all and end all first ever Louis Vuitton handbag I purchased. 
I have never had a drama with it. The Neverfull is foolproof and is just a really great buy for a using bag. You've got to use your Neverfulls. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. I am kind of going to come to the end of how I pack them. I've got a few more left that I haven't done. Uh, on how I pack them but yeah I still hope you're enjoying watching them anyway I hope everybody is doing really really well I will see you in my next video take care guys peace